You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Dance Moms After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Dance Moms After Show. a bit lonely here. I know, there's only two of us today. It was the duet, not the group dance. I know. Oh, we're doing a duet. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another reclap of our favorite <laughs> dance show, Dance Moms. I am your host, Tony Moore, and I am here with my one and only co-host tonight. We have the very lovely Stephanie McGraw, guys. I know. Uh, Francisco is getting his life on the dance floor in rehearsal for an upcoming show. He will be back with us next week. Um, so we will wait for him to come back next week. Well, we're not going to wait, but we're going to do this show. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's kick it off. We are uh, reclapping uh, the eighth episode of Dance Moms, Wingman Down. So let's go right into, uh, before we get into the pyramid, I noticed something. Did you notice mm -hmm. Abby's shirt that she was wearing during the pyramid? No. I I don't usually pay because she usually just wears a Abby Lee shirt. Yeah, yeah. But this time it had like AMA at ink. So I looked it up and she has like her own talent agency. Really? Now. Yeah. So um, I briefly looked at the site, but it's like if your kid is talented, yeah. you know, be represented, representative, represented by Miss Miller and all this. And I was like, so she's oh. a talent manager as well in her spare time. I guess so. It's all that on the phone, texting. That's yeah, what she's that's doing. what it is. Managing she's all making, her. She's making some things happen. People are going to Broadway, getting national tours, commercials, mm -hmm. singing deals. I mean, I wish I was young enough to be signed on to the Abby Lee Miller ta talent agency. Does she agency. say there's an age requirement? Children. I'm a kid at heart. Yeah, exactly, Tony. I think we could you work know something we're out. Gonna, we're going to sure. submit. Abby would love to. We're going to submit. We're going to submit All our right. headshot and resumes. <laughs> Boom. We're going to get on the roster. We're going to be at the top of the pyramid. Um, so, uh, episode starts out. Kelly is officially out. Mm -hmm. uh, along with Paige and Brooke. After the craziness that happened last week. Now, guys, that is probably for all of our viewers and fans out there. You guys have been commenting away. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, look, it's fantastic, but this is probably, as we'll continue on in this episode, a lot, probably the most negative reviews we've ever received. Not personally from us, from but us. about Just Dance about Moms, the about the show, about Abby. Um, lots and lots of threats about people gonna stop watching dance moms yeah. they're like that's it i don't want to watch this show anymore i think it's that moment where it just gets so ugly mm -hmm. that you have this feeling of i think this is too much for me yeah it's not one of those moments where you're like oh my gosh what's happening and i don't want to look but i i, I can't turn away it's like moment. it's like i would rather TV, turn away you gotta yeah. yeah yeah so hopefully things will get better mm -hmm. now that Kelly and, and Brooke and Paige are no longer a part of the ALDC. Mm. Um, but we shall see. There is there is some interesting things happening in this episode. So let's uh, go to the pyramid. Mm -hmm. uh, we have <laughs> Brooke and Paige at the bottom. Well, where else are they going to go? Yeah, they're not I in mean, the team. You but know. but why, why were they even up there? They're gone. Yeah. Like, they're off. So why even put them on the pyramid? You know, Abby just wanted to make a point. Just make a point. Yep. Uh, Brooke and Paige are out. Um, Nia... Mm -hmm. is in her same spot. <laughs> even even with Brooke and Paige gone, Nia still remains in that same spot. But Nia is in that spot because 
she made a mistake during the group dance. Yeah. And we mentioned we this last week. We did talk about that. We said she was out. Mm-hmm. She was a little behind uh, of everyone else, um, which I guess that's the mistake that Abby was uh, pointing out. Mm. Um, so that's why she's at her usual spot. Um, Chloe mm-hmm. uh, comes next, and she lost the duet. Because, as Abby mentioned, she wasn't with Maddie. Right. She's like, I don't know what happened. You and Maddie win duets. But, I mean, you put her with Paige. It. If you put any dancer, I think, with someone that's a better dancer than you at a, or at a higher ability, mm-hmm. you're more likely going to win. It, well, yeah, but it's a, I think that duet, it was a little bit of a struggle for, mm. for Paige. Just just watching, I, I feel like she was trying to keep up. I don't know if it was because she had so much going on yeah. that week. I mean, um, last week, we both acknowledged that it was really it was tough on lot. Brooke and Paige. The yeah. two girls, they were really put through the ringer. Well, too bad they weren't able to see... The fruitions of their hard work. Mm. Um, then we had Kendall. Uh, she got a bit of attitude, did. a bit of sass in that photo. See the well, photo? They, well, they all do. They mm. all have some sort of like something going on in their photo. Now there's... Maddie? We'll, no, no, no. Okay. We'll, I'll, I'll get to her photo mm. in a minute. But um, basically, Abby was just like, Kendall, you showed up. You did what you had to do. Uh, mm. We didn't hear from Jill, finally. Um, although I'm sure Abby didn't really hear Jill Mm because she was still being Jill, but not in front of Abby. Um, so Kendall landed in that spot. Good for her. Uh, then we have Mackenzie. Um, then Maddie was second. That was a bit of a, yes, was second. Yeah. And that photo. I, well, I just feel like there has to be times where Maddie's not going to be at the top of the pyramid. No, I had, I had no issues because I thought we all kind of thought something was going to be coming. Yeah. With and, Kalani. And yep. then up at the top mm-hmm. with the diva is picture ever. That that picture that Kalani had mm-hmm. looked like the inside photo of a CD of a of like a performing artist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you flip through the, the booklet and mm-hmm. you can see that photo looked like I'm fierce. And I've got to give it to it. CD. I mean, it's a good photo. It's, she's it's attractive a really good and photo. she's older. She's it's not It's a really McKenzie. good photo. Listen, so. whoever took Kalani's photo, please take the rest of those girls' photo. Because <laughs> <laughs> that one was really good. Yeah. Um, but it was it was a shocker. And when Kalani was announced at the at the top of the pyramid, Chrissy mm. made this face like, you've got to be kidding me. Mm. Like, why is she at the top? And I'm sure her train of thought was, why is she at the top? She just got here. Our girls have been here forever. And why is she just coming in? And now she gets to go to the top. Well, she came in yep. and won. Mm-hmm. I mean, what else are you going to do? That, that's how you're supposed to do. You show up and show out. And she's a brilliant dancer. She is. We acknowledge that, definitely. That that duet with her and Maddie was beautiful. Mm. It was so beautiful. It, it makes you makes you have goosebumps but it's how a duet should be performed exactly in terms of those two girls were exactly mirroring each other every footwork everything to it and they're invoking the same on. feeling the same emotion mm-hmm. everything was so beautiful about mm. that so beautiful um so that's why she's up at the top um so uh abby announces that they are going to woodbridge virginia on the magical Woo-hoo! abby school bus Yeehaw. and they will be attending fierce national dance mm. competition um, and they've never done a fierce, have they? No, this is their first time at that competition. Yep. Which I will say, that competition is a little weird when it came to awards. Awards, time. yeah. I like I sat there and I was just like, who won? Yeah. But we'll get to that. Um, so then there's the assignment of dances. Everyone is in the group dance, mm-hmm. um, and then in a surprise twist, uh, because of holly and what she did during the whole kelly abby fiasco she saved the day dr she, holly but holly like we said she mm-hmm. went into action she went into parent mode yep. where it's like let's get the kids out she was the diffuser mm-hmm. where i think everyone else was shocked at what happened mm. holly was able to go something's happening i gotta get i kids. gotta react to it yeah i gotta get kids to, going yeah. i gotta get people out of the room i have to diffuse this problem yeah um and that's a good quality to have instead of sitting there watching everything unfold. Mm. Are you going to be the person that watches everything unfold or are you going to be the person that does something about it? Clearly, Holly's the only person that did something about it. Exactly. And because of that, Nia gets a solo. Does it work that way? In Again, mind, how does, you know, because your mom does something. Well, she's done in the past. She has. She punishes the girls yes, because their mother's done the something. Mothers, yeah. So this time the mother's done well. So she, 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I did know. make, the, I'll, I'll, I'll confess, I did make the claim and I think Francisco agreed with me. Mm. We both suggested, I think, a couple of weeks back that um, Nia was never going to get a solo again. And here she is with one. Because if her mum did something. Because Wasn't her anything on her dance ability. No, it's just Nothing because whatsoever. her mom diffused a very serious issue. Mm-hmm. And so Nia gets a solo. Okay. Interesting rules, Abby. Anyway. Right. And then we have uh, duets. Mm-hmm. We have Chloe and Maddie. And we have Kalani and Kendall. Mm. Um, when Chloe and Maddie, fine, I was happy about. But when she put Kalani and Kendall together, mm. I was... A little worried for Kendall. I was very worried because she even though admits, Abby, and says, I mean, there's not just an age discrepancy. Mm -hmm. There's also certainly a clear dance discrepancy. I mean, you know, Kendall's, uh, I mean, not Kendall, um, Kalani's older. Yeah. She's had a lot more experience and um, is a high-performing dancer. And I think that's a lot to throw Kendall at. Yeah. I will say this. I did not like... Mm. Um, the discussion with Kalani and her mother regarding Kendall mm. and how uh, during rehearsals for the duet, mm. um, Kendall was making mistakes and it was taking time to correct those okay. mistakes. And mm. and I wanted and I I literally put in my notes like, um, what? Like mm. you? No, don't do that. Don't don't come into a group. And have negative things to say. Yeah, of course, it takes time for for someone to correct mistakes mm. and maybe even correct them the same mistakes they've they've made. But it's pressure. It's intimidating. Mm. You know, we don't know what what type of pressure Kendall is putting on herself now that she's matched with you. But at the same time, since when did a duet become an individual performance? I understand well, you're still dancing, and the, I know there's different levels, but trying, it's a duet is still you want to be in order for it to come across the best performance. You mm-hmm. need to work together as a team. Well, when you're trying to impress Abby Lee mm. Miller, it's all solo, isn't it's, it? It's, you're out for your own. You're it, you're, you're out for yourself. Mm. That's what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, so now, and we've been talking about this about Mackenzie and her recording career. Um, she's going to LA. She's going to LA to uh, come visit us. Oh, I love right. that. She's I love Mackenzie on the show. Actually. You always get you I get know. so so giddy <laughs> when it comes to little Mackenzie. She's just adorable. I've just got to. But know. she's going to be referred to as Mac Z. Mac Z mm-hmm, in the house. But <laughs> it's that question of like, does she want to do this, or do they just think it's cute? Do you know how excited Melissa was about? Mackenzie well, singing, and then Abby, which she constantly referred to, my pop star, mm-hmm. my little star. It's like, mm-hmm. got it. Whoa, what do you mean yours? Well, she's a part of the uh, the Abby Lee Miller Talent Agency, so mm. that's that's her. That's she her, owns that's it, her. property, right? Everything right. It's claimed. Um, so the the first thing, let's go over this before we go over it yep. to into anything else. Re going back to last week, it was brought up again this week mm. about Melissa lying. Mm-hmm. Honestly, do you feel mm. that Melissa lied about knowing that Abby was going to put in the duet? Because I will, I will say this. I am familiar with Melissa's antics. Yep. And Holly said it so perfectly that Melissa will be your friend up to a certain point. Mm-hmm. But I feel like when it comes to opportunities for your kids and for your kids excelling do you step on people to climb up no but you don't give up opportunities just because just to appease other people yeah you know you have to think of well she put she she wants to think of her daughters exactly always first and their ability to you know get to a higher level right certainly in the dance academy right Mm. do you now going back do you think that she lied about knowing that Abby was going to put the duet in? I think she, look, I think she did lie about it because I think, I think she protested Mm -hmm. at Abby. I thought that she could, she knew and she's like, Abby, I don't want this to go ahead. 
I didn't think she was in agreement with it, mm. but I think, yeah, she did then I got, because I think a lot of ways she didn't want the confrontation with the other mothers and mm. thought that if she just kept it more under wrap, it was all Abby's idea mm -hmm. that she could, you know. See, I don't think she lied. You don't? I honestly think she did not know that Abby was going to do that. It's one of those things where... Even when Abby asked her. It's, it's like this. Have you ever had a friend tell you something mm. and then they mention it again and you're like, you never told me that. Mm. It's, it's like one of those situations where Abby might have mentioned to her early in the week, I think I'm going to put the duet in. And she just, uh, okay. And then you don't think about it again because it's never brought up again. It wasn't a, you know, a definite statement. Right. I'm going to do this. It's, it was a general passing comment. Right. Mm -hmm. And so then day of, Abby's like, I'm going to put the duet in. And then it's that like, oh, yeah, she did kind of mention that. I didn't tell everyone else. Be now it seems like she knew, but she lied about it. Mm. And, I, and I honestly think that she, did, she didn't know for sure that Abby was going to put it in. Mm-hmm. But the way that the moms took it was that Melissa's being sneaky. She mm. knew and things like that. And now you're putting Chloe and Maddie against each other and saying, oh, they lied. But at the same time, it's the Abby Lee Miller Dance Company mm. uh, or the Abby Lee Dance Company. Yeah. I always put Miller in there. Um, it's, the, it's the Abby Lee Dance Company. So what Abby Lee says mm. goes. Yeah. You can't go to her and say, you're not putting this duet in. Because then what is she going to say? You can be replaced. There's the door. Yeah. So I, I personally think Melissa didn't lie. Mm -hmm. I think she I think she honestly didn't know that this was going to be a for sure thing. Okay. And and what are you going to do? Are you like you can't go up against Abby? Abby. No. Yeah. It's not about like being a brown nose or anything like that. It's simply just being like. This is your company. You're going we, we just to, have to exactly do what, we, what we came to do. You know, and at the same time though, there's a certain level of democracy. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, there's the door. Exactly, you are paying for it. If you're coming to the studio and getting classes, yeah, don't do it. Exactly, no one's no one's got a gun to your head and forcing you to do this. Right. So, um, and because of the situation, and because of the the situation with Kelly, mm. we're noticing that Christy is starting to kind of isolate herself from the moms. Um, do you think Christy's getting too much in the victim mode now? That she's like, yep, I'm next because me and Kelly were the two ones that had mm -hmm. the closer relationship. Now I'm the target for Abby. Chloe's going to be the target. All the mothers are against me. Abby's against me. Mm -hmm. um, I even though if partly there is some evidence that, you know, certainly suggests that, but do you think she's now taking, she's running with that victim mode? I don't, I don't know if it's playing victim. I just think that she's lost her partner in crime. Mm. And I feel like, I feel that Christy feels as if she stands alone. Mm -hmm. Because the other moms will, how it's been is Kelly and Christy were like the rebels. Yeah. And the other moms were kind of straddling the fence. Sometimes they would go to one side. Sometimes they would mm. be on the other side. So I think Christy just feels I am now by myself. Mm -hmm. So if this happened to Kelly, of course it's going to happen to Chloe and I, yeah. you know, but I feel like she shouldn't isolate herself from the moms. Mm. And she's so upset thinking that Melissa lied. I mean, let's be honest. Melissa has done some stuff that mm. m will make you go, what? So why are you even surprised mm. at this? Um, I think Melissa did a great thing by inviting the moms over. For the wine and cheese. And for wine and cheese. It was literally just like, it, was, it seemed very genuine, to be was, honest, the way yeah. that she was just like, hey, let's, you know. Let's, let's, just... let's, let's get back together. Yeah. We have this situation with Kelly, Brooke mm -hmm. and Paige, now leaving our, our original team. That feels weird. Now to have Christy over here by herself mm. and blaming Melissa – um, about b lying and things like that. Let's just get back together. So I thought the wine and cheese invitation was great. And Chrissy I will didn't, say, didn't give a second thought. She was like, I bow out gracefully. Yes. But then and that was fine. If she'd left it there, I would have been happy with that. Right. But this is when I got a bit, this is one of the times in this episode that I just thought dance moms, no, you cross the line. At the end of the day, you've still got, this is a target audience of younger children, 
Mm. Well, you know, potentially we'd think of a lot of aspiring dancers all across the nation, actually, in fact, across the world, mm. given all the responses we get. And you've got young kids that are watching this. Mm. Antics like where Christy then starts going on about Melissa's affairs, her yeah. relationships. I've, I've, look, I've had one husband. Um, there was a few other digs, including profanity. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not going to say the F word here on our show, right. but she did. You're not allowed to. Exactly. You can't say the F Why word on Why is that being on Dance Moms? It's not necessary. It's not necessary. It's not the but, type of show. It just isn't. But, you know, she's in her feelings. So she, that's how she felt. She was upset. F bombs come out. They come out of me when I'm driving around in L.A., and this slow person in front of me will not move out of the way. Yeah, we know that. But the editors, I just think they have a bit more responsibility given that the target audience is... Well, they bleeped it out. ...under that. I mean... They didn't even have to cut it, edit, put it in. I'm, they know that. Well, I mean, they took it out. Yeah, so. Anyway. But I, I did think that was that was kind of a low blow by saying that she's had... And it, it's not the first time it's been brought up that mm. Melissa has affairs and maybe a lady of the night. Mm. Oh, that sounds bad. But I basically just called her a whore. <laughs> Am I allowed to call her well, a whore, Melissa? Marissa? Well, you just did. So. You just I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Just we're talking about that. I'm so I'm so sorry, Marissa. Um, whatever. So um, so yeah, I I don't I don't know. I just you're okay with it. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, that was just a point that I just thought. No, not necessary. No, not at all. So um. Did you notice that uh, when Christy was talking about Kelly Mm -hmm. and how I think she's probably the only person that has talked to Kelly, Mm -hmm. that she's being kind of vague and secretive about everything? It was almost as though she was talking to the ladies were talking to one of the attorneys or something in the court. Yeah. Can't discuss that. Yeah. No, cannot disclose. What? I I mean, I get it. Christy's like, you want to know about Kelly? Call Call her. her. You've got a phone. I get that. But at Mm. the same time, why... Why does she seem so like, well, you know, I just, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, you know, I, I guess, you know, they're just working through. It's like, you're having a discussion. This isn't the, this is, this is like any other time when you're having a discussion about any other mom who's not there. Mm. Why is Melissa having an affair with, you know, well, before the, I mean, the, it's just a general discussion on, oh, you've talked to her. Like, how is she, you know, did she get arrested? Like, what's going on? Well, I just, I, mm, I can't really, I, yeah, I don't know about, really, c- I don't, talk about that. I don't, Mm. Say something. But it's more of her tactics this whole episode. Yeah. I don't know tactics, but her behavior to really isolate herself. Just to isolate She's herself. just like, no, I'm not even going to discuss this further with you guys. And I'm yeah. therefore withdrawing even more from the other mums. Yeah. Well, whatever. All right. So uh, then we have, let's go into the dances. Mm-hmm. So we have the duet with uh, Kalani and Kendall. Mm-hmm. Um, with a frame. Yeah, it's I, called framed, and they really and use, they a, use frame. a frame. <laughs> I I always get worried when props are brought in. I just think it's going to hurt someone. Well, I mean, they they literally had to dance with each other because of this prop. This prop was yeah. in play. Um, but I actually thought they did a great job mm-hmm. together. Kudos to Kendall mm. um, for keeping up with Little Miss Kalani, who was just so blah 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 about Kendall wasting time and messing up and. Mm, mm. I think I think that Kalani overall was nervous herself and really respected the fact seem, that she, she needed to nervous. prove. Well, when she was talking with her mum, that she needed to prove her mum was reminding you need to prove prove that prove yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, this is your opportunity. You need to, don't just get so complacent about this. At well, the end of the day, you're just starting here. True, but Kalani looked like mm-hmm, yeah, no, I got this hoe. Mm. Can I say hoe? I you can say that right. Oh, Tony okay. is shocking tonight. We're gonna listen. I have to, you know, I have to make sure that the, that whatever I say, it's okay to say. Because mm. side note, someone tweeted me and was like, "I told my teacher to have a seat." Yeah, I know. Tony, you're getting it. <laughs> so I don't want to. I don't want anybody to go <laughs> tomorrow and be like, "You whore!" <laughs> I heard that from Tony from AfterBuzz. So I'm just trying to make sure everybody's okay. Yep. So that no one gets in trouble. Um, but overall, I thought I thought they danced really well together, mm-hmm. uh, Kalani and Kendall, um, and that they did a great job. And it was it was a cute dance. Yeah, it was good. There was nothing spectator that went ooh ah about it. No, um, um, it was interesting. 
chuck a prop in the phone. Yeah. They have to, you know, there was a certain extra level of difficulty they had yes. to do, and I thought the girls did well in pulling that off. At the same time, Jill's little liners about um, Kendall, she cannot screw up this. Jill was so concerned, you know, Kendall cannot, you know, screw this up. She can't do right. it. It's well, like, Jill, who are you living for? Stop living through your daughter. It's because she's she's with Kalani, who is, you know, Abby has put her up there with Maddie. So. I know. It just came more across. It was Jill. It's the mother that was so, well, you know. Well, Kendall worked it out. Yeah. So good job to her. Um, so the duet with Chloe and Maddie. Mm -hmm. I thought it was so beautiful. Mm. They, oh, they danced so well together. And even with this whole uncomfortable beef that they may have between each other, because there was that awkward moment mm. after the duet where Maddie was trying to talk to Chloe and Chloe just looked like she was not having it. But, which is interesting. I really wish we could find more of the backstory. And I know whether it was the producers that mm -hmm. edited it or whether the moms told them to it just seem, seemed like so artificial. I know they were puffed and they were tired. They literally just got off the stage. But whether – do you think that was Chloe's genuine response, that she I, just didn't want to say anything to Maddie? I think so. Do you really think their friendship's over? There's something going on. I mean, I didn't think Maddie – there was something – Maddie's dance, there's something wasn't right with that. Her dance? Yeah. I mean, it was still always very good. She just, I don't know if it was, she was felt, if it was flat a little bit. Something just didn't seem to, right with Maddie. To me, Maddie did the Maddie face. And I know that you guys get on me about yeah. the Maddie face. Let me explain this. I feel like there are go-to things that a person does. Mm -hmm. When you have to invoke a certain feeling or emotion or something like that, you go to, you know, that place mm -hmm. or that that expression that you know is what you need to have. Is a good triggering factor that allows you to feel or create that emotion. Right. Um, well, well, not to create it, but just you just uh, you automatically know mm -hmm. how to do it. Mm -hmm. Like if if I whenever I smile, I know exactly where my smile stops to so that it looks like a good smile mm -hmm. and that it doesn't look fake. Mm. Not that I fake smile. I do genuinely smile, but, but that's, but you know, yeah. you know kind of what I mean. Mm. So I felt like in this duet, Maddie was doing the Maddie face and Chloe was actually living in the moment Yep. and allowing what she was feeling in the moment to come out and be expressive on her face. Mm. Um, whether it was not as dramatic as Maddie. Do you think it was more, Organic though, Chloe's. Chloe's was definitely more organic. Mm. Where it's where Maddie doesn't let it build; she's already there at the top. Straight away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's kind of like you just kind of let it, and then you really get, and then you. Mm. As the, the dance progresses in time, I feel like and that was an ugly face. It was. That was a thank you constipated face, mm. but it does. As yeah. the performance progresses or certain moves in the dance, that's when it should be more facially expressive. Mm -hmm. um, but I will note on the face, the group dance, I thought Maddie's face, she got it spot on for that. She did. For the yum yum, the yes. doing the Charleston, doing the, that's what she needed. Yeah. That upbeat, ha I've never seen Maddie so happy, look so genuinely happy. Yeah. That, that's, that's the face I liked. And that, that, the, that group dance, the group dance was so fun. It's so campy. Mm-hmm. I do wish, though, that they had a little more fun with it. Yeah. Just a little more. A little more energy, a little more fun. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, I, I think it would have been really, really, like, extra fun and campy. They did a little bit more over the top. Yeah. You think? Yeah. yeah. Just, just, it's one of, that's not a serious dance like, <laughs> like, the, like the duet was. No, no. That was a very cutesy, just have fun, mm -hmm. let go, keep your technique and stuff yep. type of a dance. Yeah. Um, but the the duet was, you know, invoked a certain feeling and emotion that you couldn't necessarily have that fun, but you did have to allow yourself to go through those mm -hmm. emotions. And even though they're kids, um, they could definitely use the duet um, to relate to their situation mm. as abby tried to do um except she was trying to to pin it more so on, on chloe. chloe and christy's like oh 
here we go again. Mm -hmm. It's always Chloe's fault. Of, it's not. It's really the mom's fault. Yes, I'll give you that. I, I think kids are. The kids shouldn't play a factor in that. The, the Basically, parents, that's what I mean. The, the I think Abby, the Abby the, brings the, the kids and the moms into it. But in that aspect, I think the the moms brought Chloe and Maddie into it. Mm. Yes, I agree. The moms have a play. The Abby has a play. Mm-hmm. But I think now they're just kind of running that thin line between, you know, muddling now in their relationships and the girls together and their friendships and just just keeps them going a little bit more than, anyway, what I would like. Mm. Well, anyway. Uh, Nia. Well, one more thing about mm-hmm. the duet. Uh, I felt like towards the end mm. of the duet, Chloe struggled. Something was kind of off moment. Was it the last turn? There was a th- yeah, it was, it was yeah. something about the last turn that either it seemed like she was trying to keep up or she thought for a second she was behind. Mm-hmm. It was something very sort of weird about it. Yeah. Um, just before they finished. Just before yep. they finished. Mm. And thank God they were finished because everything else was beautiful up and up until that. But mm. there, there was a moment where it was like, oh, she feels like she's struggling. Oh, catch up. Oh, OK. You're ter- okay. Oh, it's <laughs> over. Like that's that. That's how I kind of felt yeah. for a second. Mm. Um, but. For the most part, uh, duet, beautiful, loved mm-hmm. it, loved it, mm-hmm. loved it. Nia Solo. Now, we both have a similar opinion. Let's talk about this. What's your opinion? My opinion is that the moment when they were practicing, when finally Abby gave her, what, the whole 15 minutes mm-hmm. to rehearse with her and her solo, that the moment the music came on, which um, the song is, what is it? It's Down to, down to the River. I want, to get yes. it, I want to make sure I get it right. The Southern Gospel tune, Down mm. in the River to Pray. Mm. And the moment I started hearing that, and um, Nia's very distinctive, but her type of dance, that heavy footing, running, especially with her arms, I just thought, Abby's typecasted her again. The African-American, can Abby give her something Something different? else that she can do some other character that she can do besides the if they're going to do historical slavery like she's just give her something different just or just a child that lost something that they love something that is Mm. not i wrote afrocentric yep i'll give you that yeah of course, Nia is the only African American girl, and yes, it is important to know your history mm. as an African American. Speaking of being an African American, <laughs> um, but I I want to see her do something else. Yeah, I I, I want to see her. I don't want her music to start or her dance to start, and I'm just like, here we go again with another african american afrocentric type of theme and i know abby tried to change it this is a rebirth and a, but even that kind of invokes certain you know Same thing. freeing and yeah but are we i mean abby uh as abby mentioned you know you're not this isn't maddie you know you're not dancing like maddie that's because she's not no. Maddie, and nor will she. She doesn't have the build to be Maddie. She's never going to dance that same line, that fine line that mm. Maddie has, and that's fine. Nia's got her own you have to find talent own. and her own dance. I just wish, again, Maddie. I mean, Abby would sort of choreograph and make dances. We were saying that would really show Nia's strength. Yeah, I I thought her her solo was just okay. Mm. I oh I, the hairpiece though. Yeah, I but I felt like. I felt like she was struggling throughout this whole piece mm. a little bit. Mm. Um, and then at the end, when, when the hair piece came off, um, somehow it was Christy's fault. And all Christy did, <sighs> like anyone else would do, you see the piece hanging out. Mm. You're, you're thinking, I'm just going to tuck it okay. so that it doesn't show anymore. That's all she did. Yeah, And... For Abby to walk in and be like, if you ever touch a child again, you are out. Because when they kept showing that clip, I was like, what is she talking about? I was like, did Christy get in someone's face? Did she push a kid? What happened? 
And then I saw where she tucked and I was like, this cannot be mm. what we're talking about. Sabotage and, again. And then when Abby comes in and does that, even Chrissy and I had the same face. I was sitting there like, what? Wait, what is she talking about? Did you feel at all? It was almost like deja vu. With where Chloe? Abby, well, no, Abby was walking in like with Kelly. And it was like she wanted her, Christy. She was going to push her buttons. Don't you ever. And I wanted to see if she was kind of fishing for that same reaction where Christy was going to go, enough's enough. I didn't feel like that. I, no? felt, I felt like it was typical Abby coming in after... A, a performance and if it if something went wrong it was like oh there you go again you did blah 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 oh but 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 like mm -hmm. that type of a tone okay it wasn't like it wasn't a hostile like i want to get you riled up mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. we can have a brawl mm -hmm. it was just typical abby to me mm -hmm. um but i don't think it was christy's fault no i don't think even, christy and, had any and holly was like i feel like i net I let Nia down She's because like, I failed my Nia. Yeah, because I feel like I should have made sure it was sewn in. Mm. And poor Nia, mm. she was so upset. Yeah, so upset when that happened. And I, I think the, I think the struggle that we saw mm. was her wanting to do such a good job. She placed so solo. much pressure on herself. She put a lot mm -hmm. of, and when you put that much pressure on yourself, you tend to mess up. Mm. You're gonna, you, you tend to mess up. You're gonna mess up. So. I think with the pressure, with the headband falling off, she was just like, oh my gosh, like I just really wanted to do a good job. But the one thing that I absolutely, absolutely love about mm. Holly mm. is that the pep talks that she gives Nia, yeah. she's like, what kind of dancer do you want to be? A great dancer. That's right. You are a great dancer and you go out there and you dance like the great dancer you want to be. Mm. I love that. about. I love how eloquent holly can be uh, with but supportive with everyone and, and just very be supportive. a mom yeah yeah I, I liked all that and <laughs> how nia just like okay <laughs> mm -hmm. i love that I, I i love that that moment that mm. they had um i i just enjoyed that 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 was very encouraging mm. for her um so good job holly if you are watching i absolutely Love that. Unfortunately, Abby didn't agree, did she? Saying maybe solos just aren't Nia's thing. And I agree with which with, could be. No, I agree with Abby that I mean with uh, Holly that Abby should have spent more time. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happens in these rehearsals mm -hmm. where they learn these dances very quick, and some dances don't get the attention that it needs. Yeah. You know, everything needs to be fixed and and attended to and corrected and things like that. Perfection takes time. Mm. So if you want them to go out and be stellar, it takes time. I do agree also that they have to do the work as well. Yeah. But you can't spend 15 minutes with someone and then go, I'm done. Mm. You can't do that. Mm -mm. Because that her, she would have had more confidence in her solo had she spent... 20 minutes. Yeah, I agree completely. Those five and then extra people, I don't know, a lot of viewers will possibly say, well, she'd never do that to Maddie. Right. But again, you also, you can't compare the two. You can't judge the two. Yeah. We know there is favoritism. We know that she spends a lot of time, but also Maddie is a lot of talent and Abby mm -hmm. is attracted to talent. It's right. like a bright, shiny thing. Mm -hmm. Someone who's got natural talent as a talent manager. Yeah. She's going to more likely, you know, gravitate to them, want to spend more time with them. And mm -hmm. then, of course, when they're a better dancer, um, that she doesn't have to spend as much time correcting them. Yeah. Um, so then at the end, mm -hmm. um, let me ask you this. Mm. Who came in third? We never even found out about Confessions. Where did they... Was it Confessions? We found out about... No, Confessions came in No, we in found out about Confessions, Framed. What about Kendall? Do we even know what happened to them? This is what I lo I love that they put in. They do things differently. They put everyone together and award overall. Mm. But when they awarded third place, it was just kind of like I felt like it was crickets. Yeah. And it was like I literally wrote third, and then I was like, "Who won?" 
I, I, and I went to look and see if I could see a, a scorecard or something mm. like that. I have no idea who won. What overall? Third. I think there's actually a Facebook page, the Fierce Competitor. There is a link. We can find that out. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't know. I had a question mark. Cause they said it's it, usually, right? Yeah. It's usually third, but someone else walked up. It didn't have anything to do with Abby. Um, we know that second place went to there was a tie. Chloe and Maddie. There was a tie, tie. for second, but mm -hmm. I mean, whatever. They got second. Mm. And the group got first. Mm. But no mention of Nia. Or I'm assuming maybe Kendall and Kalani got third. I'm not sure. We didn't even hear. I don't so, know. Yeah, viewers, comment. What do you Find guys out. think? You guys have been commenting and viewing um, a lot. I said comment and viewing. Well, it's the same thing. So let us know what yeah, you guys thought. Commenting. Who came in third? Somebody let me know. Um, let me know how you feel about the Melissa situation. Mm -hmm. Do you think Melissa lied? Whatever you guys want to talk about, comment down below because I enjoy reading your comments. Stephanie enjoys Likewise. reading your comments. It's fantastic, guys. Francisco does too. Francisco comments. I read them. I don't comment because sometimes I'm not logged into my Google and I have to do all that kind of stuff and then... And then I have ADD and I just move on to something else. But I do read them. So make sure you comment below. I want to know what you guys uh, thought. And especially if anyone can tell me who came in third. Mm -hmm. I would appreciate you. Um, so then Abby calls Kira over mm -hmm. and says, what were the moms saying about Kelly? Yep. And then Kira says, oh, they say that they miss her. First of all, Kira. Was that the right response? Well, first of all, was that even a, a conversation that she should have had with Abby? Mm -hmm. That's kind of like someone coming in from the outside into the family and then trying to discuss family matters. You, you know that Abby that Abby like, wants to stir the pot. Well, of course. Abby wants to start something here. And then she announces that Kelly was arrested. Now, that at that at that moment, that was a moment Hashtag where I was like... Hashtag too much? You got it. Oh, you are learning from me. I that learned was, from the best. That was hashtag too much. That was a moment where you get your information that you need, mm -hmm. and then you leave it at that. But yeah. of course, she's like, "Oh, Kelly got arrested. If you miss someone like that, then there's something wrong with you." Mm -hmm. It's like you don't, you didn't need to make that announcement. No, that wasn't, that wasn't necessary at all, in my opinion. So, I think a lot of the episode tonight, we can just call it unnecessary. There are so many things that yeah. they just weren't needed. weren't no, weren't no. needed at all. Nope. Um, and that will bring us to news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. Before we go into our news, uh, we normally do shout outs at this moment. And but I decided, I'm sorry, I put I. We decided <laughs> Not to, to give people. All right. To give everyone a yeah, shout okay. out. Why? Because w before I came in today, there were like a hundred comments on our on our page and also like over 7,000 views. Mm -hmm. So I want to give a shout out to every single yeah. person who commented, every single person who watched. Thank you guys so, so much for always tuning in and listening to what we have to say about Dance Moms. We love hearing what you guys have to say about Dance Moms. So thank you, thank you. Shout out to each and every one of you. And now, everyone, yay. There you go. From all the different countries. I mean, we're getting yeah. them from Australia, England, from Poland, from Australia. Ho well, I, I, I almost said Hawaii as if that was a country, but <laughs> it's not a country, but it's far off to me. <laughs> that's that's across some wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a shout out to all you guys. And this wasn't a way for us to not look. We have a list of, of people who wanted shout outs. But tonight specifically, I wanted to really shout out everybody because I'm literally amazed at... Just the views that we're getting and the it's comments that we're getting. Y'all are, are just talking, just chit-chatting, and especially telling us what you like and what you don't like. I read some of those comments too. And we also like, though, I've noticed over the weeks, the comments, how they've changed the way mm -hmm. you guys are writing. And that's really positive. Francisco yes. made a note a couple of weeks ago, like, if you're going to make comments, do it in a, um, you know, critical, but, you know, um, Always be respectful. Exactly. Manner. Always be respectful. You don't need, we don't need the haters. You don't need to, you know... The, really put people down and put us down. We, we don't absolutely need love no hateration or no holleration in this dancery. My good friend Mary J. Blige said that in a song. Quote. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank All you, right. Mary. So, uh, <laughs> so um, on to some news. So I read that mm. after this whole Kelly Abby 
fight. Fiasco. Mm -hmm. Fans are demanding that Dance Moms gets canceled because it's hashtag team too much. Mm -hmm. Um, So it seems like some fans are very upset and calling um, Abby like abusive to kids Mm -hmm. and all this. So um, yeah, it was very interesting to read how people are really taken back now by the antics of Abby. Yep. And not that I'm I'm always pro Abby. I will always state, you know, anything that I see that's wrong or mm. anything like that. But I just always felt like it was tough love. You know, at that age, you, you can't pamper people and go, oh, poor thing. You have to give them some sort of tough love because it really does build them up for this industry. Mm. This You guys don't understand how tough Cutthroat industry this industry is. can be. And you have to have extremely thick skin mm. in order to survive in this. Now, I'm also on the other side where I see it more... This is a TV show, guys. This is reality. Remember that too. There's contracts. There is a lot of money involved. And these mothers, these families have signed up with them. We know Chloe's not even in the Academy, yet she comes. She comes because of the TV show. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of things that we don't know. You personally, you even know Abby a lot better, certainly, than what I do, and you've met her. You see a whole other side. Yeah. At the end of the day, guys, when you're involved in reality TV in particular... What you see isn't certainly what goes on behind the scenes. So just keep right. that in count. It is TV. Yeah. Um, speaking of money, mm-hmm. Kelly mm. is suing Abby and the producers of Dance Moms for $5 million. That'd be a nice paycheck, wouldn't it? If five Kelly million. won $5 million, mm-hmm. somebody come slap me in the face. You and I could have our own little... Yeah. I please some please come slap me. I will gladly take. I would take one of those million because this is how mm. I figure. If I get one million, I would really get five hundred thousand, which will allow me to pay off my bills, including student loans, and still have a cushion. Somebody come slap me. He's asking for it. <laughs> Don't slap me hard because I need my face. But j- some come assault me. Come do something. I want five million dollars. Uh, there you go. You, there you go, guys. Tony's requested it. Requ- You've watched it all. He wants to be assaulted. Hey, so I want to know what would you guys do with five million dollars if somebody slapped you, you sued them, and you got five million dollars. Mm-hmm. What would you do with five million dollars? Oh, this is all getting no. What would you do? God, where do I even start? Oh. One thing, I'd bank some of it, be responsible, and two, travel the world. You know wanna, what Aussie never get, likes to stay in one country? No, I want to know the silliest, funniest, ridiculous, crazy yeah, purchase that on. you will have. I want to know that from y'all, but yeah. I want to know from you, Stephanie. What, what's the, the, just, that purchaser, you're like, this is so dumb, but I got the money, so I'm going to get it anyway. Oh, you've put me on the spot, to be honest. I can I can think of all these smart, like, a nice Lamborghini, a nice house um what about you tony i buy a pony and turn it into a unicorn ridiculous right see and coming up next we have (laughs) let's go into predictions (laughs) (laughs) and now you're after buzz tv (laughs) predictions dress up the poor bloody pony mate into a unicorn i sure will i'll go buy one of those cones be like look at y'all i got a unicorn all right I All might right. cross-dress my pony. <laughs> <laughs> Transvestite so, <type> pony. <laughs> so, um, predictions. My DVR always cuts off what's mm-hmm. going to happen next on, on Dance Moms. On Dance Moms. So, I'm upset. So Well, we've got what you see is Kelly talking about the incident, the the case, what's happened. Mm-hmm. Um, talking with the other mothers. Jill mm-hmm. seems to be very adamant. What's going on? Tell us. Yeah. And then we also see it looks like there's a few more tears and um, she's yelling at, I think, Kendall. It's more so, Kendall, how much do you really want this? All mm-hmm. the other girls here say they really want this. Mm-hmm. You don't. So Kendall's next on the chopping stick. I predict that this Kelly mm. Abby altercation is going to be dragged out over the next. We're on eight twenty-four episodes. Whoa, that's a lot. 
I'm pretty sure. Anybody else get any predictions? Let us know, guys. Yep. What do you guys think is going to come up on the next episode or for future episodes of Dance Moms? You guys, please make sure you comment below. And, of course, before we leave, Stephanie, where can they find you? Certainly, guys. Follow me at my Twitter account, which is host McGrath, M-C-G-R-A-T-H, and my website, www.stephaniemcgrath.com. And, of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms, including Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Lounging with Tony. That's L-O-U-N-G-I-N with Tony. And you can also visit my website, loungingwithtony.com. Special shout out to Marissa in the booth. I forgot to give you your shout out earlier. Hey, she was doing her dancing. We love that. I was dancing. I like that. I like that so much. Twerk it, girl. Thank you guys for tuning in for another reclap of our favorite dance show, Dance Moms. We will see you guys back next Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye, y'all. Thanks, guys. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs>